Oh, I had ammonium perchlorate fever for sure. It was the third club launch of the year. Brian had to work on Saturday, so I was going to go without my progeny because I had installed a new altimeter in the One Mile Project and needed to do some testing. All right, racked up on the pad with me at the One Mile Project, only this time I have an altimeter. Just got an H180 white lightning loaded in there, scheduled to go to 1,175 feet. Deploying the main chute at 500 feet and the drogue at Apogee. We'll see what happens. Yes. Here we go. Sorry to say it flew directly into the sun, so I don't have much video for you. But it was beeping out 1126 feet. Well, well, Aerotech has a flesh flavor for us AP junkies. Redline, I had to try some in the form of an H210. All right, got my first red light, red propellant load on an H210. Racked up in the one mile project. Got the altimeter set up again for 500 foot main. Hopefully I got the right charges in it this time. Let's see what happens. You think that was the main, but it's not, because he's the bigger one more. Yeah, 24-incher. Yeah, I could have Just to make sure. This is still altimeter testing. Oh, still altimeter testing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. 500 feet? Where's that? There we go. That's more like it. All right. John Ritz, Highstown, New Jersey. Castillo. Yellow, blue, rock, and blue. Thirteen hundred feet on CTIH 143. Smoky. Electronics is not a 4.6 pounds. We have an airplane. The plane. The plane. Yes. Uh, stay away from the tree, please. Please. Please don't hit the tree, maybe. I have a knack for building tree seeking rockets. <laughs> ah, the thrill of victory. A well recovered rocket laid out. Let's see. Ah, beeping out 1172 feet. Then it was time to go home collect my progeny and our big six inch diameter rockets and come back tomorrow. We're talking our big stuff. Here my progeny Brian is going to fly his largest scream version to the left. I myself having suffered from severe ammonia perchlorate fever will be flying heaven bent. We're talking about rockets where you need to spend 50 bucks just to think about getting high. All prepped. Time to hit the pads. The professor has uh, dug out heaven bent from 27 years slumber. I put an I-283, uh, an I-211 white lightning, and two E-9 side burners, which should air start. Hopefully we're going to go to eight or 900 feet, pop a three foot uh, drogue, and then at 400 feet, pop a five, five and a half foot main chute. We'll see how it goes. Two, one. Started. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Well, let's see whether 400 feet works anyway. Can I come with you to that? Of course. Oh, oh, it didn't it came out, but it didn't open. Damn thing. Next, it was time for my rental grandson's little blue origin model to fly. Yeah. Lucky is better than good. That's pretty high. Well, that's kind of a skill. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's gonna get it back. Maybe a three next time, Brian. Yeah. So, yeah. Huh? Now Brian and Jake had come late, but we talked the club into leaving up one stand for Brian's big project. One. And we got one big parachute. I a perfect recovery. Keep the noodles fresh and the neurons firing. Remember to like and subscribe.